Smoke City. Beautiful animal. That's our play. Brian, what just happened? Dude, that wolf was right by the river. Pitch black. By the time we got bailed out though, he had made it over here and we didn't get a shot, but that was sweet, dude. Pitch black wolf, I, at first I thought it was a bear. So I said, bear, bear, bear. And then I was like, oh no, it's a, it's a wolf, it's a wolf. Chad pulled over quick, I bailed out and ripped the gun off the pack as fast as I could, but we only saw glimpses. We never really even had a clear shot. Mm -mm. It was like glimpses of him through the brush. But if he just stopped for a second and I saw black, I'd have let her fly. Oh, yeah. We saw a little bit of that footage. We were rocking down. I spotted a big old wolf. Black wolf. We just, he was already moving along the other bank and we couldn't get a shot at it. Sweet. We got camp semi set up, tents up, but sleeping bags, air mat, or um, sleeping pads, pillows, stuff like that is not set up. But it's almost four o'clock, so we're gonna get out here and hunt. We can set that other stuff up in the dark. need an exact range for that one. Why? Because the bullet drop's gonna be so much that you can't be off by 20 yards. Might be nothing left of him by the time he got to the bottom. Nope. <laughs> Try and do a call, see if he'll hear you. Let me get my weapon on. I see anything else? Thanks. <laughs> Not birthday. Thanks. Thirty three. Three. Not old yet. Not as old as me. <laughs> You're getting there. You got nothing there for me. No, I didn't see. Tuesday, right? Tuesday. 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 Oops. Is that your penalty? 
now. It's Tuesday morning. A little frost on the tent this morning. But I think it's supposed to be a nice morning again, so. Hopefully we can spot something up this morning. We didn't see anything last night. What's our, do we have a plan? We about gotta go to that vantage point if we're gonna see anything on this side. We're not gonna see anything on this side from here. Yeah, saw one black bear, yep. And the caribou, five miles up river. <laughs> so we'll make a game plan here. They're just boiling up some coffee, get some warm stuff in their bodies, and smells really good again, though. Is that the vanilla stuff? Hazelnut. Hazelnut. Mm -hmm. Smells good. First class. Classy. Powder in the water. <laughs> Hey, I didn't give you an outro yesterday, um, but we have moved downriver, and to be honest with you, spirits are kind of low here around camp. Hindsight's always 2020, but we wish we never would have moved from our first camp. You never know what to expect when you haven't been here. But I mean, we're still hunting. We're not quitting, but you just can't see much down here. Um, it's gonna be a lot harder, so it decreased our odds that much more. Chad and Cole are filling up some water right now. We can go for a hike, see what we can see. Super foggy this morning, can't see far. And just the way the trees and the ridges are right here where we're at. And really what it looks like is, as we go further down river too, just gonna be hard to spot them. So, we're kind of feeling like we messed up, but if we could have a do-over, we'd stay at our first camp way longer. We'll see what happens. Another log, but no positive news. We've not seen any moose at this camp. Um, we can see some doll sheep on the side. I think we got a little video footage of that for you. Like I said last time, not positive vibes around here about how things are going or how they're going to turn out in the end because we're coming up on the end. All right, good morning. It is, is this day seven? I was trying to add up, I think this is day seven. And we're just, Cole's getting a little coffee in him so we can get rolling for the day. And then we're gonna hit the rafts. We're gonna try to drop down 10 more miles. We got about a little over 20 left to go. <laughs> coffee will get you every time. Um, so we're gonna drop down 10 miles or so, and uh, I don't think it's gonna get any more difficult visibility um, being able to see up above tree line than where we're at right now. So we're gonna go check that out 
and slowly creep our way towards our extraction point, which is in one and a half days. So we're gonna load up the boats here, get the tent tore down, and head out. What you think, bro? We can't see farther than we can throw a stick from all the fog. So we're gonna move down in hopes of, you know, the lucky off chance of a very small percentage of moose standing on the riverbank. And uh, sit up camp one more night before we uh, have to fly home. It's been a hell of an experience, that's for damn sure. Without a doubt. Without Saw a doubt. two big bull caribou yesterday, which was incredible to see. Yep. How you doing back there, bud? What? How you doing back there? Looking good, bud. Jacked up. <laughs> Look at that boy go. Get you some. Hold that up for 12 more miles. happened so fast up here but we have now seen I think everything that we could possibly see we were just talking about that we just saw a wild buffalo um, happen so fast you can't even get a camera out on it sometimes kind of like with the wolf but so now we have now seen we've seen wolf doll sheep mountain goats caribou moose grizzlies black bears and buffalo so I think we've I think we've hit the list of seeing everything we could have possibly seen as far as animals go up here. We just haven't had the opportunity to get a bull moose down. This is our extraction point, and unfortunately, as you've been able to tell with all the other videos, we were unsuccessful with the kill, but we had one heck of a trip. Um, now we're just here at least one night here um, waiting on planes and you just never know obviously as you can tell with us getting in a day late you never know what happens with weather and how stuff goes but um, hoping that plane will be in tomorrow to lift us out of here. <laughs>